Ooh, we breaking out second day unbrushed hair living that quarantine life right now what's up guys it's amelia welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be getting it all glammed up for literally no reason <laughs> so if you guys want to get ready with me then just keep watching do you guys like my new background by the way plant's name is delilah say hello yes she is named after that song La -da -da. Okay, we're gonna start with the eyes because I feel like it's gonna be complex. I wanna go for the, like this hot pink look. I've been dying to use this shade right here. It is called Sandbar from ColourPop. So first I'm gonna be applying some Hourglass Concealer. I'm gonna dab it. Now I've never applied this with a brush, so we're gonna try it because why not? I've actually been learning like a lot of different techniques online. Like you should really like cover this area up right here with concealer. But if you look right here, it's really dark right there. And so it's really good to just like cover that area up and I feel like I never take the time to do that. I'm gonna dip into this Seize the Day shade. It's like a light pink. And I'm just gonna start like putting this in my crease. I think it's gonna blend out the hot pink really, really well. So I just wet this brow brush and I dipped it into that sandbar color from ColourPop and oh, I'm gonna do something scary. I'm just gonna put this in my crease, like just line my crease with it. It looks insane now, but we're just gonna trust the process. Okay, I'm gonna take like this angled brush right here and dip it into that hot pink shade. And I kind of just wanna like blend it a little bit. So I kind of wanna do like a cut crease kind of situation. Then again, going into that lighter Seize the Day color, we're gonna blend out even more. Key to this look is just blending it out. You guys, I had no idea I had a flat concealer brush. This is exactly what I need right now. Some more concealer on, and then we're gonna just create a beautiful cut crease, hopefully. I'm actually gonna blend this out even more. I mean, not bad for like one of my first times doing a cut crease. <laughs> I wanna dip into this Jelly Mutt Shadow from ColourPop 2. It is their Villains one in the shade Perfectly Wretched. Isn't it just look stunning? I'm just taking some with my finger, and we're just gonna start applying this very carefully. I also forgot, I really wanna like put pink right there as well, like make it really like, stand out. Okay, next I'm just gonna go in with the liquid liner. Hopefully it'll go over the Jelly Mutt shadow. Part of me really wants to take the pink liner and kind of smudge the black liner. Is that crazy? Probably a little crazy, but we're gonna do it. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna go into some foundation. So I'm just gonna go into the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation in the shade Fair. And I wanna try this new technique where you only use like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit and just kind of like embrace the skin you have. But I feel like with a crazy look like this, we might have to cover my skin up a little more than I want to. Okay, now going back into some concealer. I'm gonna go back into that brush. We're gonna see how the brush works like underneath the eyes. This actually works really, really well. I'm actually really impressed by this. I'm actually gonna go a little bit into some cover effects drops before I set my face with anything. I really want this look to be like glowy. I'm just gonna take some on my finger. For some reason, I find that this just always blends out better with your finger than like anything else. Going to set my under eyes with some Fenty Beauty Powder. It's right here. And I'm also gonna use a brush to just dust off any excess we have. I'm gonna be setting my face with some Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. I'm also trying to think of what on earth I should do underneath my eyes. I don't wanna go like too intense underneath. I think I'm gonna start out with the Seize the Day color. And that was like the base color we used. And I'm just gonna start with that and see. <laughs> where that takes me. So I'm just gonna really take my time to just blend this out and kind of just connect it with what we got going on. Then I'm gonna dip into the crazy hot pink color and just very lightly dart going in. I'm gonna take that sharp angled brush and I wanna dip into this brown just, just a little bit and we're gonna just very, very gently line the outer third of the lower lash line. I don't wanna go too crazy with this, but I do wanna like bring some darkness Okay, now to kind of like complete the eyes, I want to dip into one of these gorgeous glitter shades. I'm tempted to dip into like the slightly darker one. This shade is the shade Band T. Very gently press this onto the lid and glitter is just gonna go everywhere. 
This is probably my favorite part because like anything you messed up, you just cover it with glitter. That's literally how makeup works. Just cover it with glitter and you'll be fine. I don't think I like the glitter specks being on the liner. So I'm going to try to like move those a bit. Then I'm going to go really quickly into my mascara. I just find that this helps keep the glitter from like falling onto your lower lash line. And I really want to try out this new trick. I think it was on TikTok that I saw where people started coating their lashes like on top first. Like this is the first coat. And then the second coat is like the middle of your lashes. And then the last coat is gonna be like from your roots and just drag it up. Oh my gosh, I just got mascara right there. Now for blush, I wanna do a really fun blush. I think the Ciate London in the shade Matchmaker is gonna go really nicely. I'm hoping it's like as bright as I'm imagining it to be. It's a very glowy blush. We're just gonna build this up slowly but surely. Some on the temples as well. Also gonna go on the nose. I feel like blush just like changes the whole look, you know? Adds so much life, I love it. Then a little bit of this Tarte bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess. This this is just a sample, I don't, I don't know. It's gonna very gently kind of go on the outside and bring it in a little bit, just to add a little bit of dimension. Here, doing it like a W works. Don't quote me on that, I don't actually know. For brows, I'm gonna go into the Benefit Brow Styler. Kinda wanna do like a heavier brow for this look. I feel like this is gonna really help with that. I mean, they're extra, but like a good extra, you know, you know what I mean? We're gonna go with the Clinique uh, Pep Start in the shade Guava. It's literally just the chapstick. Actually, I really wanted to like try lining my lips. I feel like it's a little too late for that, but we're gonna just line the top a little bit. And then a little bit on the bottom. Okay, I just created like a little bit of depth with this. Oh wait, there's a smudger. I just used the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Hush Hush to just really emphasize the lips a little bit. And I just wanna make the lips a little glossier, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some Smashbox Gloss Angelus. I'm just gonna put some on my finger and then dab it onto my lips to give that like glossy, glossy finish. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the blush and kinda just add it to the very outer portion of the eye just so we can kind of match the eye with the blush a little bit, like get that kind of vibe going. I feel like I'm missing like an inner corner highlight situation. And I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Disney Villains with like this concealer brush. I just wanna put a little bit in the inner corner. All right, I'm gonna go put something cute on and also figure out my whole hair situation and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look right here. All I did was really brush my hair. I should probably get that sorted out. Unwashed short hair is so freaking hard to style. So I thought it just was kind of fun with like that flippiness. Like I just picture Barbie. And then I put on like this bodysuit with this like gorgeous lace detailing to it. I thought that was really cute. So yeah, this is what I would wear to go out to like party even though I don't party at all. <laughs> but yeah, I just think this would be a really fun, super night out kind of vibe. It just reminds me of Barbie and glitter, and I love Barbie and glitter, so. But yeah, I really hope you guys are just hanging in there. Make sure to get ready every day. I know it's like something that seems so just like mundane, but like keeping a routine during these times is so incredibly important. So always get up, get dressed. Even if it's changing the pair of sweatpants you slept in into like a new pair of sweatpants, that's already a step up. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you like this get ready with me to go nowhere video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, and let me know down in the comments below what you have been learning during this quarantine. I've really been trying to take this quarantine and make it into like a whole just learning experience so i've been trying out calligraphy i've definitely just been playing with new makeup techniques as well learning some new software and if you honestly don't think you've learned anything during this quarantine then let me know down in the comments below what your absolute favorite quarantine snack is also if you're new to my channel hi I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a super beautiful and super safe rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!